Well, good morning, chat. Hopefully the week has treated you well. Now that we're officially to the weekend. Oh, I know. What happened to the Friday show? Why are we doing this on a Saturday? Oh, God damn it, Jim. Fucking Boomer got the day wrong. Old people can't be trusted with technology. Clearly, they don't know when they're doing something. Always doing it on the wrong day of the week. Shameful. Sad. Depressing. You made us wait. You made us wait till we talked about the glorious Soviet cause. Or, I'm sorry, socialist cause. It's understandable. Understandable you'd mix those two words up. But no, we've got some commies to talk about today. Oh lordy, we've got some commie shit to talk about today. Gotta love, gotta love the Democratic Socialist Party of America. <laughs> it's just, it's a name that rolls off the tongue. Sort of thing you can print on a banner and have grandma want to join. Everybody in the neighborhood gathers round, marches with you in solidarity. That's what it's about, you know. Solidarity. With your brothers and sisters. No matter how retarded they might be. Shockingly, a lot of people in that socialist party are heavily handicapped, as we're going to find out. Have a few, uh, what did, what's the term they like to use? Invisible disabilities. Not sure what that is exactly, but our comrades are going to tell us. I, you know, God, I think, I think given the subject matter, we shouldn't even be listening to Wakey Wakey. We should have played the Soviet anthem, maybe, to get us into the right mindset. How are we going to free this country? How are we going to do it, comrades? What, what positions, what political planks do you suppose are in the DSA's almighty platform. What do you think? What do you think they advocate for? What do you think their their policy center around? I, I think I've got the the platform visualized well inside my head. If I were to have to list the top three specific things that I think they'd ask for, free shit would be number one. More free shit would be number two. And even more free shit would be number three. I think that about sums it up. Give us free shit. The DSA is really the white people's version of give me dat. <laughs> I, that's terrible. Racial humor won't be tolerated here. Comrades, be sent to the gulag. The gulag for punchlines. How dare you do that? How dare you besmirch equality? What are you thinking, Jim, you heartless fuck? I hope you're ready. We're going to learn so much. We're going to learn so much about commu or <laughs> socialism, communism, socialism. Can you, give me a, can you give me a working definition, Jim? Can you give me a definition between the two? Can you even tell me what a socialist is? I'm sure that's a question you'll get asked. My response is, sure. Socialism is the faggot wearing Birkenstocks. That's not that's not funny. That's not good enough. That's not a real answer. Could you tell me what socialism is? I'm going to say socialism is $0 in the bank account. Is it on the board, Alex? Oh, it is. It is. What do you That's an acceptable answer. I think I've won some prize money. Oh. Is that, oh my god, Vanna White's coming out. She's coming out to give me my prize. Which is her laughing at socialists with us. Everybody's doing it. Fantastic. As I'd mentioned earlier in the week, socialists had their little get-together. I'm sure you've heard about the soiree. It, it got some attention online. People were talking about it. I'm sure you saw a few clips. We're going to watch. I put together a commie supercut. A socialist supercut. Just squeezed it all together. Shockingly. Who knew? Shockingly. Communists are a little embarrassed. Maybe it's because they don't like being made fun of. I don't know what it is exactly. But they decided to take down everything. If you go to their channel, you'll see one video up there. Just one video. Well, they streamed for five fucking days. Five days. 
of all the hot socialist on socialist action you could ever ask for. And yet only one video is left. Now why do you suppose that is? Could it be that they don't like being laughed at? I mean, that's a potential, I suppose. That's a possibility on what might be going on. Took them all down. Didn't like all the mean tweets they were getting. Apparently mean tweets are something that really do bother socialists. Because I happen to see something very interesting in regards to the DSA and their budgetary issues. Who knew? Fucking commies can't budget for shit. But nonetheless, the tweets talking about their budget and the expenses they had to deal with, those are gone too. Luckily, uh, because I'm, you know, uh, bored enough to give a shit, I track down the figures. Now, I don't want to spoil it just yet. We're going to talk about the money as after. <laughs> we're going to watch this. Then we're going to talk about how stupid they are. Then we're going to talk about how bad they are with money. I don't want to spoil it just yet. But um, I'll give you a hint. Has, has, <laughs> well, you know, I don't even want to give you a hint. I don't want to spoil it. So let me get the, the video queued up. Oh, it's commie action time. This was fucking painful. Just so you know, I I happen to download like five or six of their streams. Two hours each. We could watch them all in their entirety. We'd be here for half a day. And after about three hours, you'd want to blow your fucking head off. I know that's that's probably uh, that's probably not something you're looking forward to. I, I wouldn't be looking forward to a suicide either. Especially at the hands of shitty communist content. But I've condensed it down. I've taken the best uh, bits and pieces and tried to cue it up. Just to give you a taste. An idea of what it's like to be there. What, what would it be like? What would the experience at DSA 2019, what would that be like? If you were sitting in the audience. If you could, oh, if you could smell that place. If you could imagine the smell of those commies. What would that be like? And believe me, <laughs> you're going to find out they probably smelled quite badly. That's part of the invisible disabilities, comrades. My invisible disability is my inability to use soap to wash my ass. Don't judge me. Instead, jazz hands for me. Don't clap. That's oppressive. I need you to jazz hands how brave I am for not wiping my asshole down in at least four and a half months. That's right, my communist comrades. Which okay, let us... I'm just getting the video queued up. I hope you're excited. Oh, it's going to be good times ahead. Communist supercut. Ugh. Right uh, quick point. Oh, here we go. Okay. Get everything nice and ready. Nice and ready to go. I'd also like to say you're going to see her an awful lot. There's this little Asian chick. Tiny little commie chick. Communist Chinese girl. There you go. I think she hates them. That's my conclusion, because I caught her laughing on camera and saying shit into the mic when they were supposed to be voting quite a lot. I think this chick, I don't know what she's doing. As the only semi-attractive person there, I think she's i think she's just looking for a boyfriend. In fact, I'd almost put money down that she's trying to fuck the dude who opened up day three. The one that looks like the, uh, the kind of asshole that would play an acoustic guitar on a college campus. You know, the date rapist looking guy. You'll, you'll know who I'm talking about when you see him. That's why I think she's there. I think these two mildly attractive people are merely using the DSA as a way to hook up with one another. And they have no interest in this commie shit. But we'll find out. I mean, we'll see what you think, chat. Oh, boy, it's exciting. Let me get this all set up. There we are. All right. The DSA 2019 Supercut fucking 82 hours condensed down into a glorious gloriously short amount of time there we are there's our girl all right the democratic socialist <laughs> or if uh, in her case the dick seeking socialites have gathered together to talk about uh I don't know what it is commies really talk about. I'll be honest, I watched so much of this shit, I still don't know what they were there to talk about. There's just a lot of jazz handing. And, well, and I, I guess I don't want to spoil that. Let's jump in. 
to the DSA, their convention, for 2019. Now, it's going to start out with a clip you've probably seen a lot of. Uh, this particular one made the rounds. I think this is what initially embarrassed the shit out of them. <laughs> but you're going to see, this was not an isolated incident. All those hot takes on Twitter laughing about uh, this particular starting clip. You'll see this was something they brought up every fucking day. Uh, quick point of privilege. Quick point um, of personal privilege. Yes. Um, guys, uh, first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. I... Just want to say, can we please keep the chatter to a minimum? I'm one of the people who's very, very prone to sensory overload. There's a lot of whispering and chatter going on. It's making it very difficult for me to focus. Please, can we just, I know it's, we're all fresh and ready to go, but can we please just keep the chatter to a minimum? It's affecting my ability to focus. Thank you. Thank you, comrade. Uh, hey, everybody. Um, I have the attention span of a feline. All right. I suffer from a condition called kittyitis. If you jingle your keys at me, I'm going to start to hiss, and I will cough up fur balls. Can everybody please be silent? This is a condition that's affected me ever since I became a socialist and a furry. I'm not sure which came first. I think they go hand in hand, but that's for the doctors to decide. But comrades, please, put your keys down. Shiny objects are attractive to me, and we've come here to talk about... <laughs> we've come here to talk about our communist ideals. Comrade. Okay, is there a speaker against name, point chapter, pronoun? Privilege. Point of personal privilege. Yes. Please do not use gendered language to, to address everyone. Okay, I just want to say... Okay, hold on a second. People keep spamming Jeffrey Epstein dead. I highly doubt it. I don't know why. This is a diversion tactic, obviously. By those fucking capitalists that don't want to spread the good news. I'll take a minute. I'll go look. If he's not swinging from a rope, I'm going to be upset. I'll tell you that right now. I see news about his... Jeffrey Epstein reportedly died by suicide in jail. Uh-oh! <laughs> no! Business Insider, what? No! Not Mr. Humpty Dumpty egg-shaped dick. Come on, Epstein, what are you doing? All right, chat, you know what? Breaking news, commies are going to have to wait for at least five minutes while we read this breaking news. Uh-oh. Yeah, I have ad block on. You know what I don't need? Uh, oh, my God, I hate you. I hate you, Business Insider. I hate you so fucking much. I hate you so much. You, well, you don't really... You know what? I, I can read this from a from another browser that's blocked. And you could just, just imagine this is the article we're reading. From Business Insider, Jeffrey Epstein reportedly dead by suicide in jail. Uh-oh. Oh, shit just got serious. Jeffrey Epstein has reportedly died by committing suicide in his Manhattan jail early Saturday morning, ABC News reported. ABC News cited three law enforcement officials who told Epstein had died from the suicide attempt months after he was hospitalized in July by authorities who found him after a possible previous suicide attempt. He was awaiting trial on sex trafficking and conspiracy charges. <laughs> oh, come on. Jeffrey was uh, reportedly dead from uh, suicide. Okay, ABC News is reporting this. Uh, ABC News recited three law enforcement officials who had told them Epstein had died. Okay, but, well, that's... Uh, this, this is literally just this story got posted one minute ago. <laughs> one minute ago. Oh, where is ABC News reporting this? ABC Chicago. Let's go see. Let's go see. Uh, have they been? Are they getting fucked with? I don't know. I'll pull up ABC Chicago. Let's go take a look and see what they're what they're saying. <laughs> I, I I love ABC. Thank you, ABC. Hey, Jeffrey Epstein killed himself. By the way, here's a 15 second video. Nothing to do with Epstein being dead. We just want to sell you something. Actually, maybe this is related to him being dead. <laughs> These children are literally celebrating the pedophile's death. <laughs> ABC! ABC put a video of kids rocking out to Jeff Ramstein hanging himself in jail. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> They're singing Sweet Child of Mine. Oh... Oh, ABC, not very subtle. Not very subtle. Jeff Ramstein commits suicide. Children literally singing and celebrating. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> That's fucking amazing. Uh, from New York, billionaire Jeffrey Epstein has died by suicide in his Manhattan jail early Saturday morning. Three law enforcement officials have told ABC he's being held without bail at the Metropolitan Correctional Center awaiting trial and charges of conspiracy and sex trafficking. He pleaded not guilty to the charges, and a judge said he wouldn't face trial before 2020. Oh, Jeffrey, it's just a year. What? Come on, buddy. It's just an entire year in federal big boy pomni up the ass prison. Why Why would you kill yourself? That's like a vacation, Jeffrey. Epstein accused of arranging to have sex with girls as young as 14 in the early 2000s. As his residence in Manhattan, or, yeah, we already know all this. Uh, previous suicide attempt, yep, we've seen that. 45 years in jail, denied bail. And that's that's all the information we have right now. Oh, this, this fucks me up a little bit. I mean, we are going to focus on the DSA, don't get me wrong, but if Epstein has killed himself, one, I don't believe it. He's been suicided. I don't believe Jeffrey Epstein killed himself. I believe a barbell has fallen out of a plane flying overhead, and that plane just so happened to coincidentally be ferrying Hillary and Bill Clinton to some meeting they had to go to somewhere. It was their workout equipment, and oh, look, what an accident. Fell at the bottom of our plane, landed inside that prison, directly on top of the cranium of Jeffrey Humpty Dumpty Dick Epstein. How fucking convenient the one man connected to a potentially internationally large pedophile ring filled with nothing but politicians and rich movers and shakers suddenly finds himself dead at his own hands after uh, an alleged previous suicide attempt at a federal lockup facility that has him on suicide watch and knows the, the prominence of his case and the importance of who he is and somehow he's managed to kill himself? Call me a bit, uh, call me a bit conspiratorial, a little bit tinfoily. But isn't that really fucking convenient? He got suicide. I can't believe it. He got Bill Clinton. He got, <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein got Clinton in real time. Oh, they didn't even fuck around with that. They're not even trying to be subtle. They're not even pulling a Seth Rich. It's not like Epstein got committed suicide by two bullets to the back of the head on his way to the commissary. Oh, must have been a typical prison mugging. No, just, just dead as a doornail. Committed suicide. How does ABC News know so? Why is ABC News playing videos of children singing at the news of his death? So satisfied in the news. A oh, ripping pepperoni, Mr. Epstein. Whose kids are you gonna molest now, buddy? Oh, we need to. This is a tr this is tragic, chat. We'll talk about this for a moment. Sure. We take it out of tech. Uh, but we need. <laughs> What's the song I'm looking for? We need. This poor man is dead. We need to. Uh... Oh, I can't. I can't, uh, I'm looking for a specific song and I can't find it now. Oh, I think I found it. We need to. We need to mark his passing. Let me just change the text here, chat. Um, let, me, let me do this here. Uh, Okay, uh, let's take a moment of silence for Mr. Epstein. The world's going to be a sadder place without him. <sighs> it's going to be a dark day. All those children are going to go unmolested because Mr. Epstein's dead. Just terrible. <sighs> I need to play a little, a little music to remember him by. Oh, it's very emotional this morning. Unexpected. Mysterious suicide. Who saw it coming?
Oh my God, so musical. So, so musical and emotional. It's the way he wanted to go out. He wanted us all to remember him with that beautiful song. Hopefully they play it at his funeral. I'm sure everybody who uh, doesn't show up is going to give a real big shit. Well, we need to find more details. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll finish up the DSA video. And then we'll, we'll wait for the news to confirm how he killed himself. I guess he ate a bar of soap and choked on it. What magical ways did Mr. Epstein kill himself? Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, uh, Twitter's already waking up and asking you know, basic questions like, how does someone in a maximum security prison who already attempted suicide once actually commit suicide? Wasn't he monitored 24-7? Were the guards sympathetic to him in some capacity? Oh, yeah, guards love pedophiles. If there's, <laughs> if there's one thing you can be sure of. Hey, you get convicted of molesting kids, you just go up and tell those guards. They're going to give you a high five and a nudge. And they're just gonna, we're gonna whistle every time they walk by yourself. Prisoners, too. Everybody loves them. <laughs> Everybody loves them. Super sympathetic. Uh, NBC News also uh, agreeing with ABC. He's dead. Jeffrey Epstein is dead. Dead in his cell. Yeah. Let's be honest here, Chad. I know this isn't supposed to be a Black Pill stream. <laughs> well, how, can it, how can any stream not be a Black Pill stream? You're gonna tell me. That the billionaire, the billionaire, with numerous million dollar locations, a fucking island where he screws kids, and a half a billion dollar Lolita Express uh, International Transportation Network. They're going to tell me that dude mysteriously killed himself? The guy that's probably blackmailing presidents and vice presidents and princes? That guy killed himself. You know, they just unsealed records. Just yesterday. Just a, not all of them. Just some of them. In which they uh, brought up Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton had made a previous statement saying he'd only been ever uh, on Epstein's plane with the Secret Service. But he'd never gone to Epstein's Island. Now, here's the... Remember, we're talking about Bill. Can you define what is, is? Bill Clinton, that Bill Clinton. Well, apparently... Apparently, one of his little uh, lackeys, one of his little right-hand man, I, I i don't know what you want to call her, his little toady, uh, every villain's got their sidekick, this would be his, would pick Bill Clinton up in a black helicopter and bring him to the island. Technically, that's not a plane. I never took the plane to the island. Oh, technically you didn't, Bill. You just flew the child, we're going to call the, I'm going to call the helicopter Kids Bop. <laughs> and it's not because of the music that's playing on it. So, Bill apparently is going there. A lot of testimony got on seal, talking about people who were involved in this. A little Dershowitz shitting himself, trying to make people not pay attention. You know, I heard a fucked up story. I heard a fucked up story that, was it Cernovich and Dershowitz, or just Dershowitz himself, that was trying to compel people that were involved in the case to pay their own legal fees for unsealing shit? They're going after the victims to make them pay them money for giving them the the honor of pushing to get shit unsealed? I hope that's not true, because that's the shittiest thing I've... If you've got somebody who says, hey, I was a child sex slave, and I took these people to court, and nobody believed me, and then years later somebody gets the records unsealed, and they go to the victim and they say, hey, hey, victim of pedophilia, you need to fucking pay me some money. I put some effort into this shit. MAGA! <laughs> Don't make me go kill a gorilla mindset on you. But you're going to tell me Mr. Epstein just mysteriously killed himself after that last bullshit, uh, wink, wink, uh, suicide attempt. Oh, I hope there's, there's got to be, are there no cameras at this magical correctional institution? Oh, somebody's getting fired. Well, let me put it this way. Somebody's going to get fired but it's not going to matter because they're going to retire early with that uh, mysterious multi-million dollar pension they're going to have. Some prison guard in this country just hit the lottery. And some prisoner who gets out in 20 years has hit the lottery. Disgusting. I do not, uh, no, I don't believe it. There's no way. This guy did not kill himself. I 100% I state that. Factually, no uh, irony, no humor to that. 
Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. Jeffrey Epstein was murdered to keep him silent. With those records getting unsealed, with that information coming out, the person that would have tied it all together would be Jeffrey fucking Epstein. The person that would know where the blackmail material is would be Jeffrey Epstein. The person that could name names would be Jeffrey Epstein. He was fucking murdered. I told you if his ass sat in a prison long enough, he would start to sing, and I bet you he got close to doing it. And somebody said, kill him. You can't let him talk. You cannot let this motherfucker talk. We're all going to go to prison. Me, the Clintons, the Prince Andrew, the little lawyer Dershowitz, we're all fucked. This egg needs to be cracked. There is no way that's a coincidence. There's no way that's a suicide. I fucking refuse to believe it. Even if you bring me a video, <laughs> if you bring me the most high-budget CG effects Hollywood bullshit where Jeffrey Epstein writes on a piece of paper and holds it up to the prison camera and says, my name is Jeffrey Epstein and I am of the right mind and now I'm going to kill myself. And it shows him tying a fucking noose around his neck and hanging himself at a weird angle from the toilet bowl, I'm still not going to believe it. This motherfucker was killed. Oh, I, I, is Alex Jones streaming this weekend? <laughs> if you want to see somebody go wild with conspiracy shit about this, that dude's going to go, it's going to be a level nine explosion from Alex Jones. Oh, he's talking about the political and Hollywood elite pedophile lizard ring. And now Jeffrey Epstein mysteriously dead. Alex Jones is going to be bouncing off the fucking walls. <laughs> He's going to go right through the ceiling. And I don't blame him. What the fuck, Jeffrey Epstein? Mysteriously dead. Oh, you win some, lose some. Oops. Oops. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the federal facility. Oh, he accidentally killed himself. The most high-profile prisoner we have. Oh, shit happens. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. Try a little bit harder, government. Try a little bit harder, elites. This, 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 I'm just not believing it. I'm calling bullshit. Shenanigans. I'm calling shenanigans on you, a load of shit here. We've got a few super chats. Uh, Lord X Rush. Jim, I made my employee, my foreman of my asphalt crew, wear your hat. Because he gives four out of five work. Great. Now when he decides to murder you for dressing him up as he does his job I'm gonna you know I'm gonna have my own Chatelet strangler when they find you buried in a half a fucking uh, ton of asphalt what does that hat mean the killer must have been trying to tell us something from the otaku king Jim do you watch Ario or Arlo yeah I've seen the little blue puppet talk about Nintendo from Dieseldorf Play the Scout Pilgrim song by Negative XP, or XP, please, Jim. We've got our emotional music for Mr. Epstein's Wild Ride. Wow, you know, I didn't. I, it just hit me. But right now, as we're enjoying our Saturday morning chat, Jeffrey Epstein's burning in hell. <laughs> as we're sitting here, as I'm reading lemons to you on this beautiful Saturday morning, Jeffrey Epstein is realizing hell's going to hurt for eternity. Oh, Mr. Epstein, you've made the wrong choice. That wasn't an escape. You've actually jumped into something even worse. From Death's Greenhouse, Death the Pedos. From Dieseldorf again, Bill Clinton sends his regard. And from Archer, they're not even trying anymore. Sloppy work, Massad. Sloppy fucking work, Massad. Mr. Epstein, mysterious suicide. Nobody saw it coming. Oh, fucking blow it out your ass. I don't believe you. Good God. From Good Goyim, hopefully this stream won't make me want to kill myself today, Jim. Well, if you take solace in anything, take solace in the knowledge that a, another pedophile is burning in hell. From Gobnik, all reds are speds. Joshua Moon, Epstein got suicided figures. From Koala Dante, Georgie Porgy put in pie, kissed the girls, and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy shot himself four times in the back of the head. <laughs> it's a little different than the song I remember, but accurate. From Tropic, 
Jim Check 4chan, they posted an hour before it was confirmed he was dead. And what do you mean they posted it an hour before they confirmed he was dead? Oh, I hope this isn't... I hope you're not pranking me. As in they posted it on 4chan to the global elite? Did they decide just to fuck with 4chan for a day? Hey, I just want you all to know this motherfucker's gonna die. Don't ask me how I know, but Epstein died an hour ago from hanging. Cardiac arrest. Screen cap this. Oh, <laughs> is somebody? Oh boy. Oh, that's that's they're rubbing it in with that one. Let me uh, let's pull it up. Let's take a look. Just uh, don't ask me. Just everybody, don't ask me how I know this, but Mr. Epstein's dead. You're going to need a uh, level clearance for me to really give you the details on that. Fuck you. But I've just come here to tell you. <laughs> Wait a minute. From hanging and cardiac arrest? <laughs> okay. He really wanted to be certain about it, did he? Did he eat an unhealthy breakfast that morning? To go into cardiac shock as he uh, jumped with the noose around his neck? Was he waiting for the specifically right moment to do it? Uh, let me pull this up. Mr. Epstein, uh, lots of people talking about Epstein being dead. Lots of people asking the one question I think everybody would be asking. How? 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 How did he kill? How is this even fucking feasible? <laughs> how is he dead? Oh. This is some just straight up clown world bullshit. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. It's ridiculous. Everybody's now commenting on it. Now, I'm going to guess now that it, everybody's confirmed it. I mean, we had ABC News, we had NBC Business Insider. That That's three different outlets not necessarily known to be prone to printing outrageous things just for the fun of it. We're not talking like a CNN or something. Uh, so unless everybody's been uh, goofed on, I'm going to go with the, the fact that, yes, he is very much dead. Epstein's dead, but justice can still be served. Oh, well, hot Ali, how naive you are. There is going to be no justice. He's dead now. Those real names that could have been that could have been listed, the people that really probably were involved in this, we're never going to hear about it now. And even if it does move forward, what better way to stop it than its tracks? Think about it. All this information is starting to leak about Epstein being involved in a high-powered elite pedophile ring involving movers and shakers from around the world. Well, who's going to follow that up? Jeffrey Epstein, it was only coming out because he was going to trial. Now he's dead. It's done. You understand, that's that's the impact of this, the implication of it. With Jeffrey Epstein dead, there's no legal means for the legal system to keep pushing. It's over. There is no justice. People are just going to walk away clean and tidy, and Jeff is dead, that he's the sacrificial lamb. He's the one they've offered up to the public. Oh, Mr. Epstein's committed suicide. That good enough for you, Goy? <laughs> you satisfied with Mr. Epstein's death? Now, why don't you forget about the fact that all these elites were fucking those kids too? Mr. Epstein's dead. That should be good enough for you. Get back in your cagey wagey. We gave you your blood sacrifice for today. Now, you need to tune out from this and get back to work. What in the fuck? Uh, yeah, everything now stops. That's it. It's over. The, now his estate, whoever's in charge of his estate, since there's no ongoing, I guess, criminal act, uh, since there's no ongoing criminal trial or prosecution because the plaintiffs, or uh, the defendant's dead, now his estate can come in and Oh, well, you know, since we're not obligated to hold on to any of this, we just decided to burn it in a bonfire. You know, all those secret little black books and those blackmail tapes, all gone. All gone. Poof. Poof into the wind. Nothing you can do with it. It's not yours anymore. What a load of shit. That a I, wa I want to know who in this fucking federal correctional institution let this happen. I, You know, in fact, I want to take it a step farther. Since the uh, anti-corruption unit was part of the investigation on this, I want them to look into the finances of every single fucking prison guard working at that prison. Every single one of them. Every banking account they have, 
every uh, fucking investment they have, every family member's uh, banking accounts and investments, family, friends, neighbors, people that live three fucking blocks away because somebody got paid some fucking money to make that happen. And I don't believe for one second that was a suicide. Not for one second. It reeks. Sloppy, sloppy job, Mossad. God damn. Oh, Jim. Jim, why are you so blackfield, man? Why do you need to be? Come on, funny man, laugh. <laughs> come on, be be joyful and mirthful. Look at this clown world shit. How can you not get upset at it? Our president's fucking handicapped. He's giving away our freedoms left and right. I don't know what Trump is doing, but shit's gonna get worse. Tech companies are run amok. It's just there's so much shit in the world. There's so much corruption. They're so unrepentantly arrogant and smug about it too. That's really annoying. And finally, finally you get one of these elite motherfuckers who's going to be held to account for once in their life. Up, oh, mysterious suicide. Barbell fell on his head. Oh, sorry. Sorry, he's dead. Oops. What a load of shit. You know, I'm going to just... Ah. <sighs> These fucking people, man. From Softnar0747, your anger gives me life. Keep up the fight. Fight against what? We've, we're we not fighting anything. He's dead. Yo, oh, God. Oh, here we go. From Bimbo Dickens. Q predicted this. Uh, if Q was predicting he was going to hang himself with uh, toilet paper, maybe Q should have stepped the fuck in. and <laughs> stopped it. From Archer, not even trying anymore. No, they are not trying anymore. Sardi, you're going to need some SIGs to get through this. <sighs> chat, I, and I'm just regular chat. Help me out here. Uh, God, I wish there was a way to do a poll. Is there, nah, there's no fucking way to do a poll. I, I'm going to ask you, how many people do we have watching? 3,000. So I'm going to ask the 3,000 that are watching right now. Give me a one. If you think that Jeffrey Epstein, by himself, with no prompting from anyone else, just decided to kill himself. If he just legitimately hung himself in prison, press one. If you think this is a sloppy job by Mossad, give me a number two. One, it's a realistic suicide. He just decided to do it. Couldn't take prison. Number two, he got murdered to keep him fucking quiet. Let's just see what chat says. No judgment either way. Feel free to vote either way. I'm just curious what way you're going on it, because I know what way I am. That is a lot of fucking twos. I'm seeing some ones in there. Respect the opinion, I guess. I can see how you might come to that conclusion. Rich man in jail. Never been in jail before. Denied all the luxuries of life. Can't take it anymore. Here's he's going to be in there for another year before he even goes to trial. And decides he doesn't want to live. I, on the other hand, uh, see it completely differently. I think Jeffrey Epstein, once uh, in prison, learning that he'd be there for a year, I think, you know, I, I'm just going to go full on. I don't even care. I think they tried to kill him once already. I don't buy the uh, former cellmate saving his life bullshit, especially when that guy was somebody who had a cell phone smuggled into his prison cell a few days beforehand. And I don't buy this bullshit that he's mysteriously killed himself. Everything is dead and ends now because of Epstein's death. They can't prosecute anything. They have what? What are they going to do? It just ends. The entire legal machine, the entire justice system halts because the person that was the focal point of it is gone and dead. They're they're gone forever. What a joke! And it was just getting interesting. Now that those court cases were getting unsealed, and people's names were being put out there, twenty four hours after that, he's dead bullshit you know i find it funny how mainstream media and a lot of people i even i'd say on the left i suppose like to talk about uh conservatives right wingers uh just people in this general vicinity on the internet being conspiratorial tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorists you gonna look at this and tell me it seems legitimate to you that the fucking billionaire pedophile 
in federal lockup with a previous suicide attempt suddenly mysteriously killed himself by hanging himself? No guards, no extra security, no cameras? Just decided to do it. With the amount of heat and attention on this case, just coincidentally happened. And that if that man had rolled over or given evidence or given testimony, we could be talking about people in the British royal family, in the American political system, the heads of companies, Rothschilds, billionaires, would be brought before the public as part of some nefarious fucking thing. And now he's mysteriously dead. But that's a conspiracy. Saying that you find that awkward. Saying that you find that there might be something going on there. That's a conspiracy. Oh, they're getting sloppy with their shit. That is some... I don't buy it for a minute. I don't care. You want to put tinfoil on my head? You go right ahead. Stop selling four out of five hats. I'll just sell tinfoil hats. Fuck them. I believe. I believe that Mossad has done a sloppy job. <laughs> Mr. Humpty Dumpty got suicided. What clown world shit. How do you not wake up every day in despair? How do you not wake up in despair at the shit people get away with? Oh, and they're going to get cocky. They're going to get cocky about it now because they know they got away with it. They know your one chance of ever really uncovering it. You, you're fucked out of it. They're going to get so smug about it. You're going to know who was involved because they're going to have the biggest shit-eating grin on their face. <laughs> I bet you Prince Andrew's suddenly going to do an interview. I bet you Bill Clinton... They're going to wheel him out of his AIDS treatment center so he can, he can just smile and wiggle his thumb at you. Hillary will stop feasting on the blood of orphan children long enough to give a statement to the press. Good God. Well, you see, that's usually what happens. Every time we plan to talk about something, something more mysterious happens. Want to talk about filthy commies? All of a sudden, Humpty Dumpty here has to kill himself. Let's see, is this even going to trend? How insulting would that be? I hopefully people, I God, I hope, I, I just hope there are enough people left that look at this and go, no. No, that's just too much. They, they, they've gone too far with this. It's just too much. I don't believe you. I just don't believe you. I don't believe this is real. Oh, the Guardian. The Guardian, I guess, has decided that they're not afraid of uh, barbells. Has decided to start... <laughs> what are you doing, Guardian? Let me show you. Maybe the Guardian figured YOLO. Fuck it. Uh, they're going all in on this. Guardian tweeted out just two minutes ago. Prince Andrew groped young women's breasts at Epstein's, ho or Epstein's house. Court files allege. Guardians. Maybe the Guardian's like... I guess the Guardian doesn't believe it either, chat. <laughs> Maybe they're like, fuck him. I don't believe any of you people. He's a dirty man. Involved in dirty things. John Rowe, are you fucking kidding? Epstein killed himself under suicide watch. Fuck this corrupt ass country. Uh, John Roa, whoever the fuck you are, uh, you are correct. It's a load of shit. Don't believe this bullshit. I mean, yeah, the Jeffrey Epstein suicide suggests a conspiracy. But again, or but then again, it should be obvious most billionaires and neoliberal politicians conspire to do evil shit. Oh no no no! Twitter, you better start, you better start cleansing these tweets. People aren't buying it. Bill Clinton finding out Epstein committed suicide and he can no longer testify. Why are all the blue check marks talking about this being a fucking uh, murder and not a suicide? Oh, what's going on? Epstein was murdered to save a bunch of disgusting rich pukes, full stop. I show <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, this is this is actually beautiful. Uh, let's look at this guy. There we go. I checked Facebook after reading some Epstein coverage and it was trying to sell me a suicide resistant jail toilet. Truly a golden age of jail market or internet marketing. God damn. I just, uh, I don't, I don't know what to say, chat. I'm sure more details will come out. We'll get some, uh, some bullshit explanation, maybe a grainy photo 
or a uh, uh, a very bad broken up black and white CCTV video at an odd angle that substantiates that Mr. Epstein was totally not brutally murdered by a hitman to keep him quiet, but hung himself from the suicide-free <laughs> resistant toilet and his jail cell. <sighs> what a joke. Oh, I want... I want some fucking heads to roll on this. If that corruption, that anti-corruption unit from uh, New York, if those, if that team that was involved in investigating, you better get off your ass and look into who's getting money, because somebody is. And don't think it's going to be one of those things either, where these faggots get paid upright. You know, I, it would be one of those things where we'll give you money in a year so there's no heat on you right now. You better watch every one of those motherfuckers that works at that facility for the next decade, because somebody's getting a payout eventually. The prisoners, the fucking staff. What a load of shit. Oh, yeah, I'm sure somebody had their sick day today. Oh, that's the first thing. Who took a day off? Who took a sick day off? They're probably involved. <laughs> they didn't want to be around it. What a load of shit. What a load of fucking shit. <sighs> From Sopnar. He's the number one trend on Twitter for now. Oh, they'll they'll take care of that in a minute. Don't think that's going to last. From Death Screen. Cheer up, Jim. We love you. Uh, it's not that I'm depressed. Listen, you live in this shit long enough, you get used to it. Oh, I know. God, how can you be so black -pilled? Listen, we live in hell. <laughs> I'm, almost, I'm almost thoroughly convinced that this is legitimately hell. And that the only justification God has for us being here right now is that we're actually all guilty, and we, we just don't know it. That's why he allows all the horrible shit to go. It solves the riddle. Why would God let bad things happen to good people? He's not letting bad things happen to good people. We're actually already bad people, and we've been judged. We just don't remember it. <laughs> and we're literally born into hell. That's how we... See, there are no kids. There's no pay. Everybody's guilty. You just don't remember. And this is a... And every once in a while... That's and that's what the demons are. The demons, the demons are the elite politicians. <laughs> that's it. and they're just rubbing it in our face, kind of taunting us, like a, a fucking pet with a chew toy. Oh, you want to grab it, don't you? You're not gonna get it. Oh, cheer up, Jim. I don't. <laughs> it's just, it's remarkable. Oh, come on, does anybody? Nobody buys this. I refuse to believe that anybody in their right mind buys that this motherfucker killed himself. There's just no way. There's no way. You don't think after that first quote-unquote suicide attempt, they wouldn't have gone over his cell with a fine-tooth comb to take out anything that could potentially somehow maybe be used in a suicide? No fucking way. No fucking way. I refuse to believe it. They would have been over that thing looking for anything. Little little splinters that might have hurt his uh, little pedophile toe they would have removed from that cell. Uh, fuck, you're right, here's a hug <laughs> Sorry You're gonna need some more SIGs to get through this Uh, yeah Yeah, 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 yeah From, uh, Rev Mindbender 500 mil, uh, 500 mil Buys one hell of a body double prison escape Oh All the conspiracy theories are gonna be wild On this shit And you know what, I don't blame them You could look at the Pizzagate thing And you could say that's insane Okay, you could look at that and say, you know, I think this is ridiculous. I don't find any merit any of this. How are you gonna How are you gonna brush off Epstein, a literally a literal billionaire connected to world leaders, to to established billionaire families, who has a plane called the fucking Lolita Express, who hires little girls. You know, by the way, not just fifteen year olds and sixteen year olds. And the unsealed documents that came out, there was more information about the kids that were involved. They talked about him being gifted a pair of 12-year-old girls as a birthday gift. So, you know, I think I think it, it gets darker. I think it was starting to get a little darker. We're starting to hear the more heinous shit. Now he's going to start coming up to the surface. And, oh, oh, mysteriously, he's dead. Hung himself. Hung himself on. Oh, I, I don't know what he hung himself on. 
That motherfucker should have been sitting in a concrete cell with nothing. Naked. That should have been what he was in. Naked in a concrete cell. There's no way he could... I, and maybe chain him to a wall. That way he can't bash his head against something. To be safe that Mr. Epstein doesn't kill himself, he needs to be confined, chained to a wall, naked, in a concrete cell with nothing. <laughs> then we can be certain no accidents can befall him. <sighs> it was just his body double. Oh, that's going to be one that's going to go wild. Oh, I need to see a corpse. We need to demand to see a corpse. I need to see that dead body's penis. Does it look like an egg? If it doesn't look like an egg, it's not Epstein. <laughs> Do you know in some of the unsealed records that were put uh, public uh, yesterday or the day before that another girl was speaking of her sexual experience with Epstein? And she said that she thought he must have used steroids because he had a really toned body, but a really tiny wee-wee. And she actually said, tiny wee-wee. So unless that dead body has the world's smallest egg-shaped cock, I don't think that's Epstein. I think it's our old boy, Mossad, up to something again. <laughs> Maybe that's what did it. Maybe everybody was going to find out his secret shame of being a dicklet, and he just couldn't take it anymore, and he just cracked his skull on the toilet and checked out a life. Is that, is that a possibility? Uh, from Dieseldorf. From CNN, Epstein was killed by a man named Sam Hyde. Oh, oh, well, breaking news. Samuel Hyde strikes again. <laughs> Nobody can escape the long reach of Sam Hyde. From Zylon, he called it, uh, again, linking to a specific thread. And from the UFO answer, don't forget Julian Assange is in prison being charged with treason uh, with the death penalty. And Chelsea Manning is also in prison for that, uh, for or for not flipping on Assange. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I just, I don't know what to tell you anymore. I don't care if I sound blackpilled. I don't give a shit if it sounds like a conspiracy theory. Wake up, sheeple! <laughs> you can't look at this shit and think it's legit and on the level. <sighs> you know, fuck my morning up. Fuck my flow up. How are we gonna recover? We're going back to the commies. We're gonna mm, we're gonna we're gonna laugh at some commies for a little bit. Come back to the Epstein stuff later, I'm sure. Once more information's out, it's it's the same shit it's always gonna be. People are gonna talk about it. They're gonna have no fucking details for us. Why would they? It's gonna be talking heads from CNN and NBC and ABC and all the three-letter fucking news agencies talking back and forth about no details, trying to fill up half their day. So we'll give it an hour. <clears throat> I need it. My throat is now fucked from spazzing out. All right, I've still got that queued up. Okay, good. Let me... I'm gonna. You know what? We're going to take a small break. I'm going to go get a drink. Uh, Chad, if you need to go take a piss, get a drink, get a snack, come back, we'll talk about DSA. Relax a little bit. Have a little bit of a giggle. And not focus on the fact that our world is corrupt and run by corrupt people that can do anything they want and there's nothing we can do to stop them. Put that thought out of your head. Let's laugh at some communists. So I'll put on a little bit of music. How about some soothing jazz? If I search for that term, will I get soothing jazz? Well, this sounds good. Soothing, relaxing, instrumental jazz. All right. Just forget that the world's run by people you can do nothing to. They control your lives in every respect. They laugh at your morality and religion. And they will essentially dig your corpse up and fuck it if they... Put that out of your mind. We're going to go on break and come back and laugh at... I'll be back in five.
Alrighty. Hopefully you enjoyed your break. Saw a lot of Fs going by. <laughs> they take out my stream. Let's see what's going on here. Why am I getting Fs? Is this not coming through? Let me just... It says I'm offline. I shouldn't be offline. I've got green over here. Uh, if, I, if I refresh this, though, I'm going to lose... All right, let me let me refresh here. Is it not? Oh no, it's coming through. So I'm gonna lose. Oh no, I'm not here. I'm hearing myself now. Pause that. Why? Are you, why is everybody saying hit F? Are you fucking with me? Did the Clinton send you? Are you coming to teach me a lesson? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, my lemon total went back. My lemon total has reverted back to what it was before. Did the Epsteins take my goddamn lemons? Have they come to steal my lemons? Where did my lemons go? <sighs> Chinese Emperor, protect us all. The Epsteins have come to take my lemons. Because I told the truth about their dirty, dirty behavior. <sighs> you can't... You can't, you could take my lemons, Epstein, but you can't touch my stream lamps. Segregated, it's safe. From Dowd Forward Punch, happy belated Boulderversary, Jim. Did you see Matt's pathetic live stream last night? He had about 60 people who were mostly trolls. Miserable. Just miserable. No, I did not watch, uh, I did not watch Monday Matt live stream to himself. Listen, I can only, you know, yeah, I'm blackpilled, I guess. Yeah, it's a depressing world, clown world, etc., etc. I can only take so much depressing shit at a given time. And watching a man who's destroyed himself live stream to himself for an entire evening probably would just... I'm going to need a lot of dopamine and serotonin after that. I'm going to need to just something to pep me up if I watch too much Monday Matt. What is he, reading the back of DVD boxes all evening? <laughs> What's he walking around at Target talking about Blu-rays? Not sure what he'd be streaming about. Not something I'd be wanting to watch. From SB222, Mandar was right. It's all a show. Nothing's going to happen with Epstein. They moved him somewhere to live out the rest of his life. From the Ufio answer. If this was actually an international hit, which is conspiratorial, the U.S. executed bin Laden because of what he might say and Sa or Saddam Hussein. Listen, I don't necessarily buy the bin Laden shit either. Oh, hey, we found that terrorist everybody wanted us to find. By the way, we can't show you the body. Uh, we murdered him, and then burned him, and then dumped him into the ocean. But trust us, it was him, and he's dead. <laughs> Float out your ass. From HTRTU, Gail must have gotten shit rat's luck when it comes to avoiding your stream. Your car spontaneously breaks, a pair of shooters appear, Trump develops uh, retardation, and now Epstein got suicided. Ah, uh, very true. Very true. It kind of reminds me of what happened with Davina. The moment you start to uh, have something happen, uh, you know, for the longest time, little Davina, we're going to do a stream on Davina for months and months and months. And every time something got in the way, it's touched by an angel shit. What can you do? From the Madness 36, the Epstein story, putting the con in conspiracy. Yeah, you know, I don't. I just, it's depressing. The Epstein stuff is depressing. So let's go to something that's a little more upbeat. Let's go laugh at some fucking communists. And then we can come back and deal with the the Epstein stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Now that is not what I wanted to do. Oh, now I'm getting all fucked up over here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, you know, we'll just restart the video. I mean, we only got 30 seconds into it. So we'll just restart it. Uh, quick point. Uh, no, uh, just to set the table again, we're watching the DSA, Democratic Socialists of America, have their convention. Uh, I believe this might be one of the first times they've ever live streamed the whole thing. Uh, I believe they got a little embarrassed about it because they took down the majority of videos after being teased relentlessly about it. And I put together a super cut of the numerous live streams of theirs that I downloaded. Now, I couldn't get them all because some of them they just pulled down immediately. But I got a good amount, and I put together a little a little collection to give you an idea of what it's like when you're hanging out with the socialist slash communist slash spoiled white suburbanites who like to LARP as they talk about 
uh, fighting fighting the power. So let's cue that up and let's let's take a look at the DSA convention 2019. Privilege, quick point um, of personal privilege. Yes. Um, guys, uh, first of all, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. I just want to say, can we please keep the chatter to a minimum? I'm one of the people who's very, very prone to sensory overload. There's a lot of whispering and chatter going on. It's making it very difficult for me to focus. Please, can we just, I know it's, we're all fresh and ready to go, but can we please just keep the chatter to a minimum? It's affecting my ability to focus. Thank you. Thank you. You know, we've reached a point in society where you can go up to a mic and say something like that and be a functional adult. Be a functional adult and pull some shit like that out of your ass and people will actually oblige you. Oh, I can't focus if it's noisy. Really, asshole? Nobody can. <laughs> if there's a lot of shit going on, yeah, it makes it hard to focus on things. That's not a disability. That's being human. You're in a convention hall with a thousand people. Don't, don't try to get them to be quiet by selling them a load of bullshit that you're disabled because of it. But you'll see that this is a this is part of the invisible disabilities. Again, I don't really have a working definition for that from these people. But there are a lot of, and this is according to them, invisible disabilities they all struggle with. And you'll see how serious that is as we proceed. Thank you, comrade. Okay, is there a speaker against name, Point chapter, pronoun? Privilege. Point of personal privilege. Yes. Please do not use gendered language to, to address everyone. You could actually hear the fat. and the, You didn't even have to see him. Did you hear that? Like It was like a half huff, half snort after he said that. Point of personal privilege. <gasps> I'm like, I smoke a carton a day. My lungs are shit. You can hear death coming out of my throat. And I still breathe better than that motherfucker. He gets up there and acts like a sped. Oh, this is going to get me that communist pussy. Leftist liberal girls love a man that stands up for anti-gendered language. <laughs> gets up there all huffy and I you know what I also love about this entire convention and I'm not spoiling anything too much with this they don't like clapping because it's ableist and it spooks them you know that, that one guy who was saying please be quiet it's uh it fucks with me basically they treat people like horses if you make a sudden noise you'll spook them so instead of clapping they all wave their hands like they're at a fucking baseball game have you ever seen like a, a drunken broken wave in like inning seven that's what this convention looks like. But because nobody ever gives a vocal uh, cue that you've said something amazing, it'd be like going to a comedy club and nobody laughs at the punchline. But they're not doing that because they think you're unfunny. They're just doing it because it's uh, like a policy. Imagine how nerve-wracking that is. So you get all these people that go up to the mic to give these grandiose speeches about inclusivity and diversity, and it's dead fucking silent. That's got to be unnerving because you don't know. You don't know if they agree with you or not because nobody can speak. They're not allowed to. They might spook the commie horses. Okay. I just want to say that to uh, Madam Chair um, that two comrades, uh, both a person of color and a woman, was talking, and people were having discussion while they were talking. It's completely disrespectful, and a lot of our folks with disabilities have asked multiple times, multiple times the last two days, for folks to contain their conversations to ensure that folks are able to accurately get the information from our other comrades to make democracy work here. So please. Uh, excuse me, Madam Speaker. Uh, there's a transsexual black midget in a wheelchair in the background, and they were just screeching. They're not able to speak because their vocal cords were cut when their parents tried to murder them after seeing what they looked like when they were born. Uh, they were screeching in the background, and I think it was something, some beautiful poetry of theirs. But uh, you all were making noise, and we couldn't hear what Zay had to say. All right, remember, progressive stack. I need you all to be silent when our lovely, disabled, black, transsexual midget in the wheelchair with the ripped-out vocal cords screeches at you. Power to the people, comrade. Please, 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 please keep our voices silent so that our comrades can talk and our comrades can understand what we are trying to push forth in this convention. Hi, James Jackson, Sacramento DSA, he, him. I have already asked people... By the way, I know you've seen the first clip of the guy spurging out saying, please be quiet. This is him again. 
He got so mad he came to the mic a second time to chastise them for making noise. To be mindful of the chatter of their comrades who are sensitive to sensory overload. And that goes double for the heckling and the hissing. It is also triggering to my anxiety. Like, the be comradely doesn't ju isn't just for, like, you know, let's keep things civil or whatever. It's so that people aren't going to get triggered and so that it doesn't affect their performance as a delegate, okay? I, I hope you took that in. This motherfucker's going up to a microphone and telling everybody, if you hiss at him, you'll trigger him. I want to know who he is so I can hiss at him on the street. Who gets triggered from hissing? <laughs> First off, who hisses? I've, no, I've been to conventions. I've been to uh, presentations at conferences before for a multitude of things. I don't think I've ever encountered somebody hissing. <laughs> but don't hiss at me. It's very triggering to my anxiety. Your need to express yourself is important, but your need to express yourself should not trump or over, like, it, it, it doesn't matter. Your need to express yourself is not more important than other delegates' ability to perform. Thank you. All right, thanks for whoever uh, started clapping and then switched over to ASL applause. Thank you. Let's keep, uh, let's try to use. It's a fucking kindergarten. I, I, it's amazing to me. Watching these commies at their convention for 2019, it really is. This is a kindergarten, and they behave like children. Do you see this? This, this is what I'm talking about with the wave shit. Everybody put your hands in the air. You do the hokey pokey. Everybody ready? Ready for the hokey pokey. All right, thanks for whoever uh, started clapping and then switched over to ASL applause. Thank you. Let's keep, uh, let's try to use this as much as possible. I'm Daniel Ray. I'm from Piedmont NC. My pronouns are he, him. This is Chance, he, him. My name's uh, Anthony Joel Casada. I go by he, him pronouns. My name is Ben Fong. I'm from Phoenix CSA, he, him. Hi, everyone. My name is uh, Ron Joseph, pronouns he, him. Uh, hi, I'm Melissa. She, her pronouns, and I'm from Philly. I am still Rachel. I am still she, they. I am still from here. Hi, my name is uh, uh, David. Uh, my pronouns are hang Nick. If you could respect my pronouns at this gathering, those are my pronouns. That's what I've decided and designated myself as, Madam Chair, comrades. Please address me as that. I will pay somebody next year. If they do this next year, I will pay you money to go in there and say that. I will fucking pay you money. I'll cover your dues to join this stupid organization to go in there and tell them those are your pronouns. I want to see their reaction. I want to see them rage in a way they've never raged before. I will pay you cash. I'll, I'll buy your fucking ticket. I'll send you on a road trip to do that. Oh, uh, everybody in chat, could you please stand? It's time for the Solidarity Song. Comrades, the International. So, uh, as, uh, as my comrade said, so please... Uh, if you're willing and able, please stand for the singing of the Internationale, the anthem of the left. Right. Arise, ye prisoners of starvation. Arise, ye wretched of the earth. Point of privilege? Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say, you know, Three times in this convention I've stood up to talk and none of them have I gotten to. And each time that I've been in line, um, sorry, <laughs> I'm very short. Um, each time that I've been in line um, trying to gather what I was going to say, white men have come over to tell me what points I needed to make. Fucking white males have come up to me and said, hey fatty, get off the mic, we can hear you huffing. One man in the hallway threw a fucking donut at my face and said, here's a substitute boyfriend, pig shit. No man wants to look at you naked. Please put some pants on. Comrades, I ask you, is this not the socialist gathering? Can I not go pantsless in here? I want you to gaze upon my thighs, uh, my girthy gunt and my cankles, and know that this is liberation. Now please stand with me as we sing the Internationale. I'm a leader in my chapter in New Orleans. I'm a leader in my caucus. I don't need to be told what to say. I've seen identities used as weapons in this room over and over again, and I'm tired of hearing myself spoken for. 
I'm, I'm tired of being told what to say by people who are wildly the major, minor, majority in this room and wildly the majority in this country and feel that they have the right to dominate the political discourse. Enough. We can speak for ourselves. This, again, this is the Asian chick I was talking about. Okay, I guarantee you the only reason she's there is to fuck the dude that plays the acoustic guitar. She looks like she hates her life. Every time they talk, she looks like she just wants to die. <laughs> what is a moderately attractive person doing in the room full of fat cat ladies and autistic men? That's the only, it's the only explanation I can come up with. Hi, my name is Chandler, they, them, and as far as I know, I'm the only delegate, correct me if I'm wrong, here from Mississippi. Um, organizing in the Deep South is not only dangerous, but um, in Mississippi, poverty is not just a word. It is something that we feel deeply. And um, when you're trying to Jazz organize hands. poor people, asking them to spend their last $5 on personal fundraising is not an option. And I know because some months, the last $5 of my paychecks go to national. I make no money, but I give everything to DSA. Hi, my name's Becca, and I use they, them pronouns. I'm from Pittsburgh, and on Monday, I lost my job, ending the first period of financial stability I've ever had in my life. Oh, oh, are you, are you telling me that the socialist gathering is full of people that don't have jobs and make no money? <laughs> Who saw that coming? Hi, my name's Becca, and I got fired from the McDonald's because I didn't want to sit in the wagey KG anymore? I found it dehumanizing. My former friend plays with these online altcoins, and he's a millionaire now. And yesterday, he drove by my workplace in his Lambo, and he spit in my face. And it was really depressing. Comrades, we need to end this. Fuck these capitalists. Fuck the bourgeoisie proletariat. Rise up. Now, uh, I, I'm going to... I just want to go to the... This is the financial portion of this. Turn that off for a second. I want to show you how bad communists slash socialists are when it comes to budgeting. I don't think you're going to believe this when I show it to you. Now, I'm not sure how many people attended, but you can see the auditorium they were in. And this was at a hotel that they went to. Now, somebody had tweeted out about the cost they were spending. I'm sorry, the money they were spending on the cost associated with this. Namely, how much money they spent on food. Now, that person privated their account because other socialists started harassing them. But luckily, on the DSA website itself, it has a financial breakdown. Prepare yourselves for this. Now, if you paid close attention, you may have noticed a lot of fat women, a lot of hefty girls coming up to that mic. Well, let's look where that money went. Here's figure number one. This is the simplified convention budget that shows what it's going to cost. <laughs> I want you to really, there are two things. Based total projection expense eight hundred and forty six thousand dollars all right eight hundred and forty six thousand dollars for a bunch of smelly hippies to get together and bitch about pronoun usage now look at the breakdown of cost notice any piece of that pie that's sticking out to you is there a specific percentage that grabs your attention could it be food listed at 44 percent of the eight hundred thousand dollar fucking budget <laughs> And it gets better. Oh, it gets better. Here's a, a more detailed breakdown that they offer on their website. Projected expenses for six meals. Pro okay, six meals, $350,000. Snacks and coffee bags, 36000 They spent over $400,000 on food and snacks, which, by the way, blows past that percentage they said 44 percent you know i'm going to say that 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 cost analysis was wrong because they list a lot of food costs here now the person that tweeted out about their budget said that they were getting 44 dollar bagged lunches that consisted of <laughs> not even joking an apple a cookie a salad and a bottle of water they were spending 44 dollars for an apple a cookie a salad and a bottle of water six times for each person that attended. Now, I don't want to say that I'm a financial wizard here. I'm not an economist. 
But let me let me see if I could slash that budget a little bit. You're four hundred thousand dollars on bagged lunches, commies. Now forty four bucks for one meal. You could have spent half of that, twenty dollars, and ordered a pizza, and fed four people fully, a large, large, good old delicious pizza, for twenty dollar dues. Would have fed four people. Well, maybe not four entirely. There are a lot of fat women. But let's just say four for the heck of it. So if you're feeding four people on $20 as opposed to the, well, what is it, $40 a person? (laughs) $160? That one pizza saves you $140 every meal. You could have turned that $400,000 budget expense into a $40,000 budget expense. Just feeding these fat fucks pizza and they would have liked it. You think these tubby pieces of shit wanted to eat salad and apples? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. They would have, oh, if they'd smelled that Domino's, they would have stampeded out of that place. How do communists spend... I, what you have to understand with this is they had two entire days where they were arguing about the budget, saying how they needed more accessibility, that they needed more features for the disabled, that they needed to accommodate people that couldn't pay their dues, you know, saying that there, we have all these poor members who can't afford to join the organization. And at the convention where these poor people are telling these socialists, we don't have money to pay our dues, can you please still accept us? They're springing for $44 bagged lunches. What the fuck? No wonder this party, no wonder this convention was so contentious. 45 bucks a meal, are they out of their fucking mind? Did nobody ever teach these kids how to fucking balance a budget? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. Fucking commies. All right, let us let us return to the glorious, the glorious gathering of the DSA Convention 2019. Oh, my God, this is really funny to watch. Comrades, like many of the other speakers, I do... I too suffer from invisible disabilities. I suffer both from autism spectrum disorder and ADHD, and it is incredibly nerve-wracking for me to come up here and admit that. I'm thankful that we are at least able to have this conversation, but I rise in negation. I love the fact that every speaker that goes up is either somebody that got fired because they're incompetent, or they claim they have invisible disabilities and they're autistic. No wonder they spend $40 on bagged lunches. The entire organization is literally retarded. Comrades, I too am autistic. Where's my $40 bagged lunch? ...to this resolution because it simply does not address the question. Throwing money at this problem will not make DSA accessible. The answer lies in having real conversations about how we make it inviting, how we make it open and safe for people like me who have ADHD, who have autism, who have other invisible disabilities as well as physical disabilities to discuss their problems and understand how we achieve disability liberation. That's what is necessary here, not just more money. What the fuck is disability liberation? Is that part of their socialist manifesto? (laughs) <laughs> like, what does that entail? How do you liberate somebody from a disability? If your leg gets blown off and you've got to use crutches or a wheelchair, how do you liberate yourself from that? Oh, it's the invisible disabilities. The made-up ones. I get it. You, liber- you liberate yourself from the fictitious disabilities by making people coddle you. I, haven't, I, you know, I watched a lot of this convention footage. I didn't see one disabled person. I saw an awful lot of 20 to 30 year old white people from the suburbs though, claiming they get triggered if you snap at them. Well, I think this is well intended and I applaud the author for his intent. It is not the solution that is necessary. And I urge you to vote no on this resolution so we can have a real conversation about real solutions to this problem. And I yield my time to the floor. All right, hi, my name is Sasha. I'm from San Francisco and I use she, her pronouns. Um, I'd also consider myself a disabled comrade with an invisible disability. And oh my God, this bitch! I okay. This may be I maybe this is a personal thing, but I I, I I'm almost sure that a good amount of you are going to know what I'm talking about. This woman's voice—it's a really specific type of talking that a certain type of woman does. 
that just makes me want to eat a bullet. It's the one where they, at the end of everything they say, at the end of every sentence or statement or question, Their voice Comrades, Mr. Epstein's wild ride came for me, but I survived it. Luckily, we're still here. Hit F5. Deal I'm spazzing out on me today. F5, F5, chat. Oh, I'll tell you in chat. I'll tell you in chat. I'll give you all a second to catch up. Once again. Once again. Epstein has come for me. Give you all a minute. I know it takes a minute to catch up. We're still here. Praise be the Lemon Emperor, please. I don't mean to offend. We live by your graces, sir. We love it here. These are all just comedical takes <laughs> on the DSA. This in no way reflects glorious Chinese communism, which, of course, is the best system on earth, Mr. Lemon Emperor. We, we love glorious Chinese communism. We love China here. Good shit. Great stuff. Love that country. That wall you guys got? Fantastic. That's the best wall we've ever seen. <laughs> we, we enjoy that wall quite a lot. Please don't disconnect us again, Mr. Lemon Emperor. I need to collect my Ninja Gaties. I got a family to feed. I need those Ninja Gaty dollars. Uh, from evening concert, uh, sequence, Epstein is dead. Yeah, we, we covered that a little earlier. Lord X Rush. When I held a business conference, it cost me $1,800 for a caterer to feed 100 people buffet style. Yeah, it's pure incompetence. I, I refuse to believe that it costs 400000 If you are holding a convention and 40 to 50% of your budget's going towards food, you've made a mistake. Something's not right. There, there are a thousand things you could have done. You could have done fast food. You could have done uh, pizza. You could have done just... Uh, you, you could have outsourced it, or you could have gone to the local community and found, like, um, got a couple of chefs, found really cheap produce, and made something yourself. But paying $45, $40 to $45 for a bag lunch per person six times, that's ridiculous. That's just frivolous waste of money. No wonder these different organizations have an issue. I'd be, I'd be fucking pissed, I'll be honest with you. Uh, oh, wait. oh, you said that twice, but okay. Uh, yeah, no, the commies don't know. I, this group, this DSA group, does not know what they're doing. It should not cost you $400,000 to feed uh, that convention hall. Human being, Epstein killed himself, yep. Uh, Lord X Rush, damn it, Jim, I'm glad I found you from It's a Gundam. Just hours and hours of entertainment, love it. Well, glad you're enjoying it. Uh, let's go back to our glorious convention. I think everybody should be caught up. Uh, just tell them to F5 if they're still thinking it's disconnected. Showing green, looking good. Let's go back and hear... Uh, our little valley girl, talk about her invisible disabilities. And I too, I've seen so many of the struggles of disabled comrades to participate in DSA. I've ran into accessibility issues in my local, and I really, really want to make sure that we get something. I, I'm not sure if you're noticing this. I think she walked out of a time warp. Look at the pants she's wearing. She's wearing like Jordash jeans from the 90s. <laughs> like those button up, the waistline of her jeans is above her navel. That's like old man pants. I don't know what this fashion is called. I don't. Is this a specific look for socialists? <laughs> Did she shop at the Goodwill and find like a crate of leftover Jordashes that nobody wanted? Pass today so that people feel seen. Um, and because of that, I'm going to raise an issue that I have with the measure. Um, I think that uh, the current section about ADA compliance. I completely agree that ADA is, it's both contested and in some cases a bare minimum. But like San Francisco is one of the wealthiest chapters. We actually do have an office and even our office is not ADA compliant. We don't have disabled parking spaces. We don't have any parking spaces. And I worry that setting a goal of 100%. Oh, I, I want to drive nails into my ears. 
I can't stand that Valley Girl shit. Uh, people in the chat, that's what they're calling it. Uh, maybe. I, I just, that, that, that tone raised at the end of every sentence, I couldn't stand to have a conversation about anything with this person other than, uh, can you give me directions to the store? Do you know where the bathroom is? Something short and simple. My name is Sally, and I'm from the Valley, and in San Francisco, we're super rich. Do you guys like my Jordash jeans? Oh, fuck. Somebody muzzle her. Bank compliance by 2021 is not realistic, and therefore it makes it less actionable. And seeing as our uh, people with disabilities are some of the most oppressed people um, in the entire world, uh, well, uh, we should uh, fight for people with disabilities. I think this guy perfectly sums up the DSA. Just everything about him. Just everything about this speaker sums it up. The world, uh, well, uh, we should uh, fight for people with disabilities and our comrades with disabilities and our oppressed people. Um, so you should support this amendment to make it easier for us to fight for DSA and medical for all and all these things uh, and abolish capitalism. Thank you. Uh, my name is Kate Wagner, she, her, uh, Baltimore. Uh, I noticed earlier, uh, speaking back on disability, people passing out signs, I ask that you not wave signs and or do thumbs up or hiss or boo. Uh, this is very distracting to those of us with sensory disabilities. Thank you. I ask that you don't give anybody the thumbs up. How is, how is the thumbs up distracting unless you're looking directly at them? <laughs> what is it? What do you mean? What crazy world do these commies live in? Please don't give a thumbs up. It's distract. I don't know what version of socialism this is. I'm fairly certain in Soviet, in the Soviet Union and in China, they let you clap. They don't care. The real communists clap away. They don't care. <laughs> what bastardized version of communism and socialism is this? It's a giant hug box of rich suburbanite kids LARPing on a weekend, eating $40 bag lunches, pretending they hate capitalism as they, as they pass out iPads to vote on. Okay, thank you. Just need to say, this is very confusing. I've, I think we should take a five minute formal break to review the resolutions and to, to progressive stack line speakers up in an appropriate way. <laughs> Comrades. Comrade Chair, with, with apologies to everyone, I have a point of privilege. It is unbelievably loud. Hey, could everyone... With, with apologies to the whole room, I rise to a point of personal privilege. It is unbelievably loud in here. Someone just said something. No one near me knows what it was. Please, can we just keep this chatter down, please? I'm having a really hard time right here because people aren't using their inside voices, and it's very triggering to me right now. And I saw a white man give a thumbs up in the corner and my person of color comrade pissed herself in fear. She thought she was going to be lynched. <laughs> oh, oh, this little Asian girl. She's just there for the dude that plays guitar. <laughs> she actually laughs at them. I caught her a few times on the mic laughing at them as they were bringing this shit up. Yes. Point of personal privilege, some of us have dis certain disabilities that do not allow us to stay in here for hours on end debating these resolutions. We need some sort of a break. We need to call it a day because some of us need time to recharge. We cannot go on like this forever. I am one of them. This is what we were talking about earlier with the lack of accessibility in DSA. We need to take these into consideration, people. The first thing... People, um, you need to listen to me. It's hard for me to sit down when I don't have my DS on me. If I'm not playing Super Mario Brothers, it's hard to fight for socialism. I need a break to recharge my DS, or we can't fight these fucking capitalists. <laughs> oh, this is the dude. This is the dude that plays the acoustic guitar that I'm 100% sure that Asian chick showed up just to bang. <laughs> this guy. The thing that we have to talk about is accessibility. Um, we have a lot of disabled comrades, and uh, a lot of those are invisible disabilities. You don't know who it is uh, that is having a more difficult time navigating this space, and this space was not created with all of their needs in mind. So it's up to us to modify that space to make sure that uh, everybody is able to move in the ways that they need to move. 
uh, one other thing that you should take into account here. I, 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 you know, I when I was picking and choosing clips, I didn't want to bore you with their actual process, but they spent five days debating resolutions. And I would say that at least a day's worth of that time was spent with them arguing with each other about being too loud, about not using proper pronouns, about not using a progressive stack, about their invisible disabilities. And then at the end of the convention, this would infuriate me. All right, so this little Asian chick and her council put this thing together. Pay a half a million dollars to feed these people so they can vote on these resolutions. And then they waste a day's worth of time arguing about pronouns and invisible disabilities. And at the end of it, they actually have the balls to get angry and say, well, we don't have enough time to talk about the issues. You didn't plan this well enough. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You acted like children. It was a room full of toddlers. You argued about the dumbest shit. Of course we don't have time to do it. I spent half a million dollars feeding you bagged lunches of apples. And your invisible disabilities. What this means is that, um, first of all, in this room, I see that no one's clapping for me. It could be because I'm not engaging, but it also is because everyone's doing this. And that's really important because those loud bursts of noise, even though this is a noisy space, when we can do something like reducing that, that's really important. So please don't clap, shoot up these. Um, in terms of movement, right, you'll notice that a lot of these floors are connected by elevators. Those elevators are very slow. If you are able to use the stairs, the stairs that are immediately outside, and even better, if you're able to go across the way to use the stairs in the corners, that's going to free up space for people who, uh, uh, who, who have to rely upon. Yeah, you see, I have a theory when it comes to socialist groups organized by Americans. This is my theory. That if you are at least a four out of 10 or above, the only reason you're there is to slay pussy. I'm convinced this guy joined this organization not because he believes in a single fucking thing they're talking about, but because he wants to pick up those 6 out of 10 Asians like his co-host. <laughs> That's why he's there. And his little neckerchief, his little ascot wrapped around his neck. He looks like a stereotype. This would be a character you'd see in a 90s college comedy movie. That's who this guy is. <laughs> that is, who is the dude that banged Jenny and Forrest Gump? That's who he is. That's why he's there. I don't believe he believes in the cause. If you're a 4 or 10 or above, you're there to meet people and fuck. That's the only reason you showed up. And you tolerate all this nonsense because of that. Comrades, if you could use the other elevators. That's why they all have invisible disabilities. Nobody wants to move their fat ass across the quad to take the elevator on the other side of the building. Oh no, you don't understand, comrade. I have an invisible disability called elevator phobia. And that elevator over there scares the shit out of me, but this one doesn't. I need to take it. ...on uh, the other forms of transportation. If you have, if you can use the stairs, use the stairs. If you are able to use uh, the escalators, use the escalators. Um, and uh, if, you, um, if you need the elevator, uh, the marshals are going to be trying to do our best to make sure that access to that is reserved for people. Yep. Um, and, and additionally, with the, um, the noise issue, like, avoid hissing, avoid waving banners, right? Um, That's like the third time in this video they brought up hissing. I, haven't, I didn't hear anybody hiss once during this entire fucking thing. I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe this is like convention history. Maybe I don't know the deep lore on the DSA and their previous gatherings. Maybe there's the great hissing of 2016. And if we'd seen video of that, we'd understand. But... Or maybe communists just do this when they get together. Maybe socialite suburbanites that LARP as communists hiss at each other when they're upset. I don't know. Um, because those, there's, there's all sorts of things. If you don't know what to do, show up these, right? I'm sure there's lots of ways that we can communicate to each other without needing to rely on something uh, that's going to hurt somebody else. Um, we have quiet rooms that are available. There's a range of options of these, right? On Piedmont floor, on 7, there's one that has video but no sound. If you still want to be able to observe the convention, but the sound is an issue. There's also on Piedmont 8, a completely quiet room. One thing to note there, please don't go into that space with anything that's like an aggressive scent, for instance, right? Please bathe yourself, you disgusting fucks. Okay, I understand. I understand. Uh, that we're all uh, socialists and in the uh, fight against the uh, bourgeoisie together. 
Uh, but if I can smell your balls from at least 100 paces away, you need to bathe. Please don't go into this quiet room with no windows or ventilation and let the scent of your genitals make people scream. <laughs> if you could do that, that would be great. Um, because that's going to be difficult for people. Uh, and whether, you know, perfumes or anything like that. Um, so in addition to this collective security, we need to be working on consent, right? We don't, the, the principle of collective security is we don't want to put people in stressful situations that they don't consent to, right? And we have to be accountable to each other that our actions might have. I, I, I don't even, I, I just, I get the feeling that if these people traveled back in time, and went to a communist state. If they went to China under Mao Zedong, if they went to Russia under Stalin, and they tried this shit, they'd be lined up against the wall. I don't think any Venezuelans, any country that's like socialist or communist would watch this and recoil in horror at what they're doing. <laughs> it's just, comrades, please, if your balls smell too bad, don't go into the quiet room that's reserved for the people with invisible disabilities. And remember, the security padlock needs you to state your pronouns before you're allowed to enter. Have negative uh, consequences for other people. So first and foremost, use the proper doors, right? Don't try and exit through these or any other sort of like fun shortcuts you see. We really need to keep those closed. Um, you have to have your credentials at all time. We're not trying to be jerks, but there are um, right-wing infiltrators who are trying to get in here and the oh they're gonna be next year I'm gonna pay people to show up to fuck with you <laughs> I'm gonna pay them to show up to fuck with you and to film it for us oh we're gonna infiltrate the shit out of you you don't even know if I'm being serious or not I just want you to be paranoid you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're not gonna know who it is we're gonna blend in you'll never know it here's tip number one for blending in to next year's convention don't bathe for a week before you go. Tip number two, go to Goodwill and buy as many Jordash jeans as you can. Tip number three, put something in your mouth that makes you mumble. So it sounds like you have an invisible disability. With those three hot tips and tricks, MLG level strats for me, we're going to infiltrate the fuck out of this place. <laughs> we're going to have some fun. The way that you enable us to keep them out is by making sure it's very easy for all the marshals to uh, to see those. Um, if you, we're also talking about de-escalation, right? Um, because people are going to have different experiences of things that some others might think is normal heatedness, and I think in some of that there's an inevitability there, but it's going to be really traumatic for people if we're not making an affirmative es effort to de-escalate each other and de-escalate ourselves, right? And we have marshals who are going to help you uh, do that. If you are having a conflict with somebody, feel free to step away, right? We're going to make sure that you can get out of that space. Let somebody else step away if they need to step away, right? Um, and generally, uh, try to be chill, right? Take a... Like, bros, we're just here to chillax and shit, right? Like, all your $40 bag lunches has a really, really nice, nice bag of weed in there, okay? We're just going to Netflix and chill on our iPads. And we're going to talk about the revolution, bros. All right. Somebody hand me my acoustic guitar. I feel like singing a song. Anybody want to hear me sing a song, comrades? I know you like it. I know this Asian girl likes it. Hey, baby. You want me to sing a comedy? Everybody, it's time for the international. The leftist anthem. A deep breath. And I feel better before you say anything. Um, we also have an inf info security. Right. Re this is really, really important. Um, please don't tweet photos of your credentials. Um, that would be very bad. Uh, please don't share your credentials with other people. If you have friends here that you would like to be here and they don't have credentials, don't let them in. Don't. Do you see how paranoid they are? Like the the if somebody infiltrated this, which we're going to do next year, but if somebody infiltrated this, they're doing it to laugh at you. <laughs> That's the only reason people would show up. You're a fucking circus sideshow. But they take security so seriously. Don't tweet out pictures of your pr uh, your badge. Don't let your friends in. Remember, you don't need friends in our glorious socialist revolution.
don't make exceptions for those people because it makes it really hard to, uh, to take care of the people. Don't really talk to anybody who doesn't have a creden credential. Don't talk to anybody you're not authorized to talk to? <laughs> oh, wow! Going full gulag on us, aren't you, buddy? If they don't have credentials, they're not a fucking person. You treat them like garbage. Scrape them like shit off your boot. You communists, my comrades, my brothers and sisters. If you see somebody and they don't have a press credential, they don't have a, a badge, I want you to beat them. Beat the capitalism out of them. Well, especially if you claim to be from the press, you have no idea who that person is. Please do not talk to anybody who identifies themselves as a member of the press without having uh, credentials. Um, don't talk to cops. Don't talk to MAGA assholes. All, we're almost there. Just uh, this, but thank you. Um, we are going to be visited tomorrow um, by some MAGA protesters. Um, is there anybody here who's done cl abortion clinic escort work? Awesome. No, everybody, I bet you everybody's hand went up. I bet you when he asked that, every single hand in that place shot into the sky. <laughs> How many people here have helped abort babies? All of you. I see all of you have. Well, that reminds me of a song, Hand Me My Acoustic Guitar. It's a very similar operation to that, right? With abortion clinic escort work, you don't want to engage with the, the, the MAGAs. You don't want to engage with them at all because we really, the priority is getting people in and out safely without them being harassed by anybody. So by you engaging with them, you are putting uh, danger and stress on your comrades who didn't consent to that. Um, and uh, by all means, don't talk to cops if there are cops there for any reason at all, right? Um, and if you do see someone talking to cops, uh, let the marshals know. Um, okay, so let me see if I got your ground rules straight. Don't make any noise, because that might spook somebody. Don't clap or point or give a thumbs up. Don't talk to people that don't have a badge. Don't talk to the police. If you see somebody talking to the police or to somebody without a badge, make sure to tell the authorities. The authorities being Mr. Acoustic Guitar and his... Uh, committee. This sounds like <laughs> sounds like a bad dystopian future. If you see something, say something. I thought you were anti-capitalism, anti-big government, anti-America. So why are you going with the if you see something, say something shit? Um, the last thing is, you know, we have a we have a tough job here. You have a tough job here, and the other tough thing here is um, making sure that everybody's voice is heard. I know that the folks up front are going to make sure do their best to make sure everyone's voice is heard during the debates. Uh, our marshals are going to be running microphones. They're going to be holding on to those microphones. Um, and please, like, do your best to respect that and communicate with us if... See? See what I say? Like, she keeps circling them around, or around him. I bet you on that, fucking, uh, on that fucking Apple laptop, she's got pictures of him playing his guitar. She's, she, his, his scent is in the air. She's very excited. Oh, I can, sm I can imagine the smell. I'm right next to him. My sexy little communist boy hasn't bathed in a week, and I, I want to savor the flavor. If, you know, you need the mic held differently for you for any kind of reason, um, but please let them um, make sure that um, everyone has access to those, um, and we take it low and slow in terms of getting everybody access to those. And please let us know if you have any kinds of conflicts, any problems about mobility, any problems about finding what... I'm going to guess there's going to be a lot of mobility problems just based on the amount of fat bitches in that room. <laughs> I'm going to wager they had a lot of trouble being mobile. Uh, excuse me, comrades? Uh, I'm not able to walk up to the microphone. Uh, being that I weigh a metric ton, my legs will snap like little twigs if I try. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Lincoln Log Cabin? Now imagine a Lincoln Log Cabin made of a thousand pieces held up by toothpicks. That's my center of gravity, comrades. Can you please bring the microphone back to me? If you need uh, any problems or conflicts with other people or anybody who you see without credentials that you think we should have uh, our eyes on, please let us know. Um, we, are, we are safe and we are strong because there's power in collective, uh, in collective work. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Uh, and we're going to rely on you to to make that happen. So I'm very happy to be working with you on this project. And very.
Oh, it happened again. It keeps happening. That's like the fourth time. It's not my internet. My internet actually is fairly decent. I don't know. Maybe the Lemon Emperor is displeased by my making fun of these Democratic Socialists of America. I think perhaps I'm stepping on, on ground I, I shouldn't be. Like if I dedicated an entire stream to, I don't know, Tiananmen Square? <laughs> what if I did a stream on Tiananmen Square? How's that going to... What's going to happen if I do that stream? <laughs> Bad things, I think. <sighs> I'll give you a second to F5, but as I was saying, I... I, I listen, it does not cost $400,000 to feed these people. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe it costs $400,000. And can I ask what the fuck 22% went to Solidarity Fund scholarships? <laughs> so you spent, um, what, $150,000 on scholarships? For, for who? For, for what? <laughs> I didn't even notice this. 44% uh, on food, but if you look over on the other side, there's another uh, snack, coffee, and care bags, 4%. So 50% of the budget went to food. 50% of the fucking budget went to feeding these people. What a joke. Oh, my God. You can go to their website. Again, they have the entire cost breakdown. If you want a really good laugh, uh, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely... Child care only costs them $600. Food costs them $350,000. What? Security, 15000 How do people spend this much money on food? How do, how do you justify that? And they're still operating at a net loss. If you look at this, total expenses, total expenses, uh, including housing, over a million dollars. There's no way they covered a million dollars on this fucking convention. <laughs> Were they charging people $500 at the door a day? How, how are you justifying that? ridiculous ah <sighs> so that was the dsa convention uh, that was my little super cut of it again they've taken down the videos because they were embarrassed because everybody rightfully made fun of them there's only one left a world to win fund or funding the socialist future now you've got to admit that's a bit on the nose isn't it that an organization that spent a million dollars on a convention and half of the budget went to food the only visit they or the only video they left up was about raising money. <laughs> of course it was. Oh, I looked into a little bit of their politics. Like, okay, what what are they for? This should give you a good idea. Again, these people spent a million dollars on a convention. <laughs> Half of it went to food. Results are in. The NPC advisory poll closed today, and DSM or DSA members are overwhelmingly in favor of Bernie Sanders. 76% of the participants said yes. The NPC will meet March 21st for the next steps. Details coming soon. I know. I am sure the NPC... I just... The way they use that term, and they did at the convention, the NPC will meet in March. Oh, I bet they will. I bet the NPCs are going to meet in March and endorse Bernie and then ask for half a million dollars of bagged lunches, comrade. I'm sure that's what they're going to do. What a fucking joke. Oh, my God. These people. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, oh, let's see. Yeah, it keeps it keeps resetting on me. Uh, I'll, I'll try to read the lemon chats here. Uh, from uh, Hola Gemini. Spoken word poetry evening. Do I go, Jim? Yes, you do. Oh, of course you do. From the Big Sniff. Jim and Jade origin story. Here comes the lemons. I got one from eggs, egg like erection. Uh, no message on that. Bimbo Dickens, get down with the syndrome. Oh, they're doing it. Big Digger Nick, please, Jim, give a shout out to my friend Squirrel. Uh, Big Digger Nick says hello, Squirrel. From Hola Gemini, there's a commie convention in Australia soon. Do I go? Oh, please do. Please do and film it. From Death Watch, fun fact this site is actually inaccessible in China. Wait, is it really? Oh, I guess then I can talk about Tiananmen Square. From Lupum, Black Hawk down, Black Hawk, or Black Jim down. Black Jim down. And then back to evening sequence. Epstein is dead. You know what? We'll, we'll do a quick check-in to see what's going on with Epstein. 
to see how he's faring out there. Oh, and from Lupum, in regards to Epstein, America is bought now, not free. Yeah, the Epstein shit is uh, disgusting. From Padre Speaks, pheromones engaged at the DSA, y'all. Throw up them jazz hands while your balls deep in moist a or Maoist ass. From A2P, more like Clown World Convention. Holy shit, this is more pathetic than the Libertarian Convention, where a fat naked man took the stand. By the way, please be more hopeful your black pills don't taste so good. I forgot about the Libertarians. See, Libertarians are, are funny in a goofy way. You get, like, fat, white, naked dudes. And people voting on adopting Harry Potter as their mascot. The socialists, they're funny in a, like a depressing way. Like spending half a million dollars on bagged lunches way. <laughs> it's, it's a little different. From Gobnik. Man, DSA devotes a lot of efforts to accommodating their exceptional individual members. I guess they must attract a lot of exceptional individual members. What a weird coincidence. Joshua Moon. Disability liberation. Cripples rise up. Oh, wait. From the Euphoria answer, how quickly would Stalin have sent the entire room to Siberia? <laughs> he would have, he would have driven his tank over them personally. There's, yeah, no, he would have, he would not have tolerated this. From Chris, New York Post has picture of Epstein's body. Oh, we're taking a look at that then. From Malone Dick 117, like what Liberty Prime always said, communism is the very definition of failure. Judging by their ability to budget, I would agree. From, oh, what do we got here? From Glory Great Poland. Mysterious serial suicide guy strikes again. I guess, boy, or I guess boy Epstein decided to kill himself with an egg-shaped penis. Doing some gymnastics in process. Press F for the Jewish pedophile. Down forward punch. Happy belated boulderversary. Oh, we read that one? All right, so somebody said the New York Post has a picture of his body. Let's take a look. I don't know how they'd have a picture of Epstein's body this quickly, but we'll take a look. Is there a name for that particular article? Well, let's see if just people are posting it. How are we going to do this here? Oh, somebody, somebody, if you could, do me a favor. Uh, send that picture or a link to that particular article to my good friend, Mr. Anti-Bully, over on Twitter. So we can look at Mr. Epstein's remains. Because uh, I have a feeling, <laughs> I have a feeling there's a barbell-shaped hole in his head that's just uh, very noticeable. Uh, yeah, uh, more official news died. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, shit, they really do have one. Okay, let me pull it up, guys. We'll take a look at Epstein's corpse. Yay! Uh, here we go, here we go. From the New York Post on Twitter an hour ago. Here's a picture of Mr. Epstein, ripping pepperoni champ. Oh, it's so emotional. <laughs> Not pictured. The barbell-shaped uh, cave-in on the top of his skull. That's missing, of course. Uh, the multiple gunshots in his heart. Uh, hard to see behind these two people. Uh, they sawed his legs off. This is all, all part of how you kill yourself, really. If you're going to commit suicide, drop a barbell on your head, shoot yourself in the chest, and saw your legs off. <laughs> Did Epstein shrink? Is he a midget? Look at the, okay, look at the length of this table. Look at the length of this stretcher. Here's his head. So here's where his torso should be. Where are his legs? If his head is here, and his torso would be about here, where the fuck are Jeffrey Epstein's legs and feet? Am, am I, is anybody else seeing that? Is this a perspective trick? <laughs> Did they saw him in half? Was he a cellmate of a magician that was booked on murder? Like, I, I see a head. I don't see the rest of his fucking body. <laughs> Did they Photoshop a head on a stretcher and say it was him? Right? I'm not, am I alone on this chat? Does that not, this picture not strike you as a little weird when you look at it? <laughs> it seems, it seems Mr. Epstein's suicide lost him half his body. Oh, our poor boy. Our poor, they took his... They took his uh, egg-shaped penis to preserve it in the Library of Congress. It'll be there forever, enshrined, and it pickled for future generations. I'm going to have to press X to doubt on this. I'm just saying human anatomy tells me there should be a bottom portion somewhere around here. If his head is here, 
but I don't I don't see it. <laughs> Did they decapitate him for a photo op? What the fuck is this? Oh, Mr. Epstein. I got a feeling something uh, there's some shenanigans taking place here. A little bit of shenanigans. All right, let's see if there's any updated news on his uh, you know, uh, wink wink suicide. No oh, Clinton body count, of course. Uh, Epstein's apparent suicide is evidence of serious neg or negligence by the jail, particularly after a previous suicide attempt. He should never have been given the opportunity. Well, Judd Legume, uh, I don't think it was a suicide. <laughs> Come on, dude. You're not this dumb. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think this is a really accurate assessment of the uh, situation with Epstein from Stephen Miller. Let's have a look at what Epstein's prison guards will be doing next week. Uh, 100% yes. Absolutely fucking accurate. <laughs> Absolutely fucking accurate. Yes. That is what they will be doing next week. Oh, God, you know, I love this prison guard job, but I think I'm going to retire early. <laughs> well, you've only worked here a year, dude. No, man, you know, I think I've earned enough money. I think it's time for retirement. <laughs> oh, you don't say. Uh, from Pam Keith, the right is going to think the left is responsible for Epstein's death and vice versa. But simple fact is the left did not have physical control of Epstein's person. Bill Barr did. Well, Pam, I'm going to have to say, uh, I don't think... I, I, I don't, I, I'm not going to deliver. I don't think it was a bunch of lip shits on Twitter that killed Epstein. I think it's a bunch of corrupt, rich, fucking elite people that wanted him shut down. That's, that's my guess on who, uh, who uh, had Mr. Epstein reach a uh, uncomfortable, <laughs> uncomfortable end. Yeah, and again, they're not really going over a lot of details. Uh, oh, apparently. Apparently, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is demanding answers. Well, you know what? You go get them, honey. Because I'm telling you, uh, there's a, this this stinks. There's some bullshit going on here. <laughs> all the tweets in this tag, all the tweets of people talking about Epstein, nobody's buying it. Even the lipshits are skeptical as fuck after reading this story. Everybody should be. This guy was dirty as fuck. He was going to expose a lot of powerful people. There's no way this was a suicide. Fucking no way. Every one of those prison guards should be investigated. Any prisoner that had access to him should be investigated. Somebody got paid off. I absolutely refuse to believe that he killed himself. Fucking ridiculous. <sighs> Fucking clown. From Gary Gurgles, people are saying different nose and ear. I don't know enough about his biology to be able to do that. From Spooter Fuchs, Epstein is just preparing to rebirth his Moloch. <laughs> Hillary's plan has come to fruition. Glory be to Moloch, he returns. Holy shit. All right, Chad. Well, you know, our, uh, this was planned just to be the DSA thing. Uh, the Epstein uh, quote-unquote suicide kind of came out of left field. I I I I I I can't I I can't stop stumbling on my words because it's ridiculous. Like that's it. It's dead in the water. All the allegations will never be answered for. All the people connected to this will never be brought to justice. Anybody that played a hand in his suicide is going to walk away scot-free. It's just bullshit. And the timing of this, are you kidding me? They just unsealed the court records. They just unsealed the shit everybody was waiting for, and now within 24 hours, he's dead. Come on. Be more obvious. Be more obvious about what you're doing. What a load of shit. What a just disgusting load of shit. Well, you know... I was certain. I was certain if he sat in that prison cell long enough, he would flip on people. Maybe that's why he got killed. Maybe he was actually about to go forward and start talking about stuff, and they just offed him. Maybe the prospect of being sat in a jail cell until June of 2020 freaked him out so much, he was willing to tell them anything they wanted to know to get the fuck out of there. This pampered, rich, elite billionaire could not handle being in prison. 
and he probably would have told them anything they wanted to hear to get out. And now he's mysteriously dead. This is, uh, I was going to say this is Seth Rich all over again. This is way worse. Because it's so fucking obvious. It's so obvious, it's impossible to look at this and be like, yeah, he killed himself. Fuck off. There's no way. There's just no way. Well, what a start to a weekend. Uh, keep an eye on that tag. If anybody's going to fuck up and say something they shouldn't, or if there's any evidence that's going to pop up that shouldn't, it's going to do it within the first eight hours. Any longer than that, they'll have time to clean it up. So pay real close attention to the photos and witness accounts and testimonies and reporting to see exactly what's going on. Because if somebody's going to fuck it up, they're going to fuck it up soon. So I guess let's, let's pray that one of these prison guards or somebody involved in the hit is one of these DSA retards and jazz hand his uh, fingerprints all over the cell or something. I don't know. <sighs> what a world. Yes, don't worry, chat. I will open up the chest for you. I know you're all waiting for that. So let me let me just do that. Let me get things set up here. Okay, where's our where's our glorious chat? Our our chest, sorry. All right, let's distribute them. Oh boy, 30 seconds chat. Here comes the lemon rewards. Who's going to be lemon rich today? I don't know. 574.3. Delicious lemons are coming your way. I hope you're fucking excited. It's coming. Can I get a can we get a little pumped up? Some dancing puddings? Free lemons are coming. The lemon emperor is about to gift you. That's right. You demand it. Gibbs me that. You're about to be gibbs it a whole bunch of fucking lemons. Here's our winners, the luckiest followers. From Aspie Bloggin. Great name, by the way. 14 whole lemons, number one. Aspie Loggins took the most lemons at 14. From Spurdo Pirate, 8.5 lemons. From Gorm, 6.4 lemons. Joan Wall Staxon taking a whopping 5.3 lemons. And finally, Mana Kitty, 4.6 lemons. I believe the conversion from one lemon to one penny, it's uh, one lemon equals 1.2 pennies. So, Mana Kitty, well, let's do some math on that. You've almost made 10 cents. <claps> lemon Rich. Aspie Bloggin, hold on to those lemons. Get that Lambo one day soon. Just got to wait for those Lido points to roll in. <sighs> we need we need something uplifting. <laughs> we need something uplifting as the, uh, as the final goodbye song. <laughs> what song could I play that, uh, oh, you know what, I know what it is. I don't, well, no, it's only, it's only 22 seconds. I don't know if that song would be appropriate. I'd probably get deplatformed for playing it. <laughs> be honest. What song can we, uh, you know what, I, we're just going to go back with the classic. First off, let me get a shape of Mr., uh, let me, let me get a picture of egg-shaped penis man. Uh, you know what? I'll just use the I'll just use the New York Post picture. One second, Chad. I'm just getting things set up to end the stream, so we can do that here. All right, that should be good. We'll do a memorial to a dead pedophile. <laughs> we'll do a memorial to a dead pedophile, Chad. So you can all remember his stunning bravery as he hung himself with a bar of soap somehow miraculous we don't know how he did it but he did here he is here's our photoshopped I mean crime scene photo of just a giant e <laughs> giant Epstein head with no legs or torso of course why why wouldn't that be there let me get the song set up here already played it once but it's emotional so of course we're going to want to play it again why wouldn't we All right, chat. Uh, have a good weekend. I'll see you all on Monday. Uh, I've got uh, the Gale stuff to follow up on on Monday. Um, and then, you know, I wanted to take a look at uh, South African Parliament. Don't ask me why, but I've been 
I've been binge watching South African Parliament, uh, honorable gentlemen, uh, and it's the most ridiculous toddler ass shit you've ever seen. So we'll be watching that on Monday and a few other things as well. I'll see you next week. <sighs> Ripping pepperoni, dead pedophile man. Hopefully your egg-shaped penis is burning in hell right now. I will see you all 